Welcome to the Recommended Daily Value Podcast, your daily dose into the health and wellness world. Welcome back to the Recommended Daily Value Podcast, brought to you by Umzu. I'm your host, Tyler Woodward, and today we're going to be talking about three foods that you can start eating to skyrocket your testosterone levels. Let's dive in. First up on the list is good old nature's multivitamin, liver. Liver is one of the most, if not the most, nutrient-dense food on the planet. Liver is rich in vitamin A as retinol, the animal form, B vitamins, glycine, choline, vitamin K, zinc, copper, selenium, the list goes on. If you're not eating liver in some form or fashion, like getting it through supplemental form, on a weekly basis, I highly recommend trying to add it in because it's just so nutrient rich. Next up, we've got another great natural multivitamin, oysters and other shellfish as well. Oysters are like the liver of the sea. They're packed with many of the same nutrients the liver has, including vitamin A, B vitamins, and they're really rich in zinc, selenium, and iodine, which is a great boost on top of the liver. These can be a great alternative for vegetarians as they can't eat liver, and they're also a good source of protein and provide a lot of those nutrients that are found in liver. Finally, last week we have to boost your testosterone levels is saturated fat. While this isn't technically a food in and of itself, an increasingly large body of evidence has found that both ample fat intake of around one-third of your calories and the intake of saturated fat relative to mono and polyunsaturated fat play an important role in testosterone production. Some good sources of saturated fat include animal meats, dairy, and coconut oil. So don't shy away from those good fats. Well, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button and send it to a friend so they enjoy it too. Until next time, guys, be good. And just a reminder that these opinions are my own based on my own research and experiences and are not medical advice.